Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to Blade Bias. Finally, I'm not four years in the past. I mean, I'm not three weeks in the past. You're back to fully present, Ethan. Not for long. Don't worry. I'm going to record a few videos, and then you're going to go back to, like, three-week-old Ethan, because I haven't recorded, like, a Blade Bias in a really long time. And it's kind of been really cool, because the channel's been running itself, but, you know. Um, but I did want to take this opportunity of not being three weeks in the past to say that this purchase, the Sliff T that stands before me that I'm so excited to open, is only possible because of you guys. Blade Bias paid for a majority of the Sliff T. I paid a little out of pocket, but that was just because this is the... Well, I'll explain it later. This is the perfect one. I need to get it now. But it was a vast majority of it was paid by blade bias so i just wanted to take some time to say thank you guys for watching liking commenting all that stuff thank you for 5,000 subs that's crazy we really do appreciate that you take the time to come over to our little corner of the internet and listen to at least my dumbass opinion so thank you guys so much i genuinely do appreciate it and let's just let's just uh, this okay so you guys tired of the slift t yet because I'm certainly not. I got another MachineWise sticker. I'm hype about that. I have a QC card. The last time I got a MachineWise product was like the drop before they implemented QC cards. So now I finally have a QC card. And look at Taylor put a little heart on it. Put a little smile. Put a little face and a heart. I love that guy. I love that Dalen guy. So this, I know I just made a video about the Slift T. And by just made, I mean I recorded it like a few weeks ago. But you guys just saw it two days ago. Um, but I finally found a Sliff T that I wanted. I have been waiting for a, an Anno that I really like. Specifically, an Anno that is raw titanium on the outside and anodized on the inside. Because the problem with the Impusa over here is it's a very capable knife and I wish I could beat it more. But this Anno is one of the most beautiful titanium Annos that I have seen. And I just can't bring myself to scuff it up too much. But if, you're t if your Balasong is raw titanium on the outside, what is there to scuff up? Just the titanium. So I'm actually super excited. Let's just, let's just crack this open. I have a machine-wise bot. I'm so excited. Oh, man. The Slift T. Holy cow. The Slift T is one of the first Balasongs that I have actually flipped and genuinely wanted to to buy although it seems like I, I didn't get the little washers but that's that's fine that's okay this is one of the first ballast songs that i have genuinely just wanted like i flip it and i just want it like that usually doesn't happen for ballast songs usually i'm like hey i wow this looks incredible i usually am like wow hey i uh kind of like it's great like i really like flipping it but Hey, man, that's uh, not in my price range. Not really interested in spending that much. Cool, cool. But this, on the other hand, has always been a... Not always, but since I tried it, has been a Balasong that I've been dying to have and flip and all of that. So this is the glitch pattern. This is a test that Dalen said he did. This is technically right now one of one. It's got this, like, scratch markings on the outside and then inside here in the chamfer you can see you've got the rainbow fade that's obviously in the inside the inside is a purple to teal fade and then it's also got like a bit of blue in the front here and i think that it's like blue slash gold and i think it looks amazing the jimping is also that purple teal fade but then we've also got like this little bit of blue throughout so this is a ballad song that, like, I'm going to be able to beat, I'm going to be able to drop this on concrete and not feel bad, but it's still going to look amazing because, you know, the anno's on the inside. Damn. Damn, that looks good. And, of course, like, I, I mean, you guys just, you guys just heard me gush about the Slift T for a whole video. So, like, I'm not going to subject you guys to listening to that again. Um... This doesn't flip my favorite because I have the screws in, which I'm going to change immediately once I can remember. That's right, it's in here. Um, this is just like, I love this Balasong, and normally I wouldn't take out hardware in the middle of a video, but A, I've already given you guys my opinions on it, and B, like, it just flips that much better with it out, so... I'm not really going to apologize for doing this, but, like, man, 
to to own this is the first battle of song that i've purchased since the cycloid but it's the first battle of song that i've put my own money into because i did i did pay a little bit out of pocket for this um since i believe i think the last battle of song that i purchased with my own money was the bermuda as crazy as that sounds I am fairly certain it was the Bermuda. I'm trying to remember, because Kraken Trainer was before the Vault, but the Vault I technically didn't pay any money for. But then the Bermuda was like November of last year, I want to say. The Cycloid I obviously bought, but that wasn't my money. That was also a Blade Bias purchase. Which is why I technically don't count it. Yeah, I think that I think that's actually fair to say. That the Bermuda's the last battle song that I spent. I've always I've bought some things here and there. Like I've bought the Jimpy Bally buckle and I've bought the um Um Oh, what what am I thinking of? Oh, the Arctic Blade, which I'll talk about in a future video, but like this is the first Bala song that I've really spent my money on in a long time. Ooh! And it's one of the most beautiful because it's the Slif T and I love the Slif T. Now I do have to break it in a little bit. This Anno is wonderful. It's like an almost green teal down here and then it goes up to towards a blue and into a purple. Dalen's Anno guy really just kind of crushes it every single time on his annos and i made sure to tell him that because dang machine wise is doing some cool stuff dalen's doing some cool stuff if you haven't actually seen dalen just made a youtube channel where he posted a few videos that he produced with will and brandon i believe while they were down there so go check that out because you there's a lot of interesting things you can learn about the machine wise products through that um he goes into depth about his stainless steel washers that he uses that's like a special selling point i think of dalen's products because they're washers that you don't really have to replace when you take apart your balisong which on a balisong that is part of a platform where you can change all of the parts of the, like the you can change all the blades out i could put a prisma blade on this i could put a serif blade opus blade any of that on this and it would be fine on a platform like that where a lot of people are going to be changing their balisongs quite a bit i think that's extremely extremely good to have washers that you don't need to replace i think that's really cool um but yeah damn dude this thing looks great i really i didn't expect there to be like that blue in there but it looks really cool i'm not sure what did it but it certainly didn't show up in the pictures and then to have like the rainbow inside the chamfers and in the gym like this is cool dude Number 135, the Slif T. This is going to become my main flipper. If you see me post a clip with a live blade, it's probably going to be with this. If you see me, if you ever see a cut on my hand, it's probably going to be this because I plan on really, really stepping up my flipping. Ow. Well, that was a topical place to have that happen. Um, can't really redo the video because, you know, first impressions, but yeah, I had to lose a bracelet. I'm not going to go into detail because, you know, YouTube, but like that was a, such a small area for like so much, you know. Anyway, perfectly timed cuts aside, haha, see what I did there? This thing is just like, like this will become my my main ballast song i want to devote quite a lot of time this summer to becoming a genuinely good flipper outside of like the basic stuff that i do um i did a meetup in the new york meetup with banks and a few other people uh which you guys will see videos on eventually it's just kind of sitting in the backlog right now um he taught me a few things he showed me a few things that kind of i think kind of help could help with my flow and I genuinely do want to work at that. So I think I'm going to use the Slift T and my excitement about it as an opportunity to just kind of become a smoother, better Balasong flipper. And I'm super excited to do that. I also think the Slift T is going to become my main flipper for a while. If you see me flipping a live blade, 
in a clip or something like that, it's most likely going to be the Slift T because now that this is mine, I can do whatever I want with it. I can take it outside, I can flip it wherever, I can flip it in clips. I don't have to worry because the other one was borrowed. I didn't want to damage it at all. So I don't have to worry about any of that. I can just kind of flip this, take it with me, you know. I think it's going to be really, really great. I'm excited to use this thing. I'm excited to, like, freaking bring it outside and, like, damage it, but, like, not damage the Anno because the Anno is nice. Like, it's, it's just so nice. I can also... I, I'm, I will say I'll be a lot more excited about it when it wears in a little bit because um, MachineWise uses NRB Thick, I believe, in his pivots. And I can smell it from a pretty far distance. Someone once described, everyone kind of changes, like everyone kind of disagrees what NRB Thick smells like. I know Pyro, DJ Eyeless Pyro, thinks it smells like onions, which like I don't really get, but I guess I can understand. But someone described it perfectly once. Someone described it as a dirty carpet that you spilled, like, artificial cherry on. And, oh my god, if that is not a perfect way to describe the smell of NRB Thick. Holy cow. And it's, like, almost nauseating. <laughs> not gonna lie. But also just, like, the feel of the titanium. I'll give it a little cleanup. And once it wears in a little bit, I think this is gonna be... Not that it isn't quite the flipper already, but it's just going to get better, you know? Once that smell goes away, once that feel goes away. Um, I think it's going to be really great. And then we've also got... Machine-wise tolerances, dude, are just... Just beyond compare. I don't think I'm doing... I don't know how Dalen does his sideways test, but he does like this sideways test. Um, again, if you haven't seen his channel yet, please go watch it. It's a great channel, but he does like this test to see like if there's binding or anything, but I don't really understand how we just suffice it to say that this tune is amazing because you know, it's Dalen we're talking about like, there's no, there's no binding or anything there. Damn. It's just like, oh. I'm not going to gush about the Slift T again. What I will gush about is how excited I was for it. Like this, I haven't had the experience of frantically refreshing the USPS tracking page so much in the, over the course of an hour in a long time. Like that hasn't happened to me in a really long time. And here I was sitting, even on stream last night, like when I was streaming last night, I would just periodically open the page and just kind of like refresh it to see if any updates had happened. And no updates had happened. And I was like, if this thing doesn't come today, I'm going to be so upset. Because I've seen other people, other people have been getting theirs for like the past day or two. And I've been so jealous. I've been so, so excited for this thing. Oh my gosh, you guys have no idea. And now it finally came and now I can flip it. And it's going to be so great. And I freaking love it. And it's like, oh my gosh. Like I own a Slift T. This is my most expensive Bella song that I have paid for. Before that honor was held by the Kraken. I mean, I have more valuable ballast songs. I have the Impusa and the Kuno, which I guess technically the Impusa, uh, I don't know. The Impusa was 550 when I got it, but now the Impusa is like 475 or something. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, this is like, this is the most expensive ballast song I own. This is the high end of really what I would pay for ballast songs. Like, Man, the Slift T is just, it's just, it's just him. The Slift T is him. That's how I described him in Blade Show. I have a list of all the things I tried at Blade Show with just like a quick sentence of like a pro and con about each. And for this, I literally just put he's him. That's, that's what I did. And my con was that it was too handle bias with the weights on. That's it. Obviously I have complaints and I'll get... I'll form those as I flip this for the next week. I'll do a, I spent a week with the Slift T just because I think enough people are interested. Um, unless you guys don't, I mean, I kind of already gave you my thoughts on the Slift T, so maybe you guys wouldn't want to see that. But if you want to see a slightly more developed um, kind of look at the Slift T, I will be reviewing one of these eventually on my main channel. And by eventually, I mean like probably next year with my, you know, time frame. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but if you're interested in that, let me know. Thank you guys again for 
literally just everything watching supporting commenting it means the world to have people that care to watch these videos and leave comments and ask questions and all that um and to the 5,000 subs and to be able to get stuff like this to show you guys it's just it's great so thank you guys all for that um genuinely like i'm not even just saying this to be cliche i'm genuinely meaning it i don't think ty and i really say it enough we really appreciate it and Whew. Although that, dude, this tip. This might be a ballad song that I intentionally kind of scuff on the ground to get rid of the tip. Because in all the times I flipped the slift tee, both the borrowed one and this one, the only thing that has gotten me is a stray tip. The tip went into my arm right here, and the tip actually went into my heel down here when I, like... I don't even remember what I did. I fell the trick, and it just kind of, like, bounced off. And it, like, it was fine, but, like, it still kind of hurt. Like, it's still there. It still kind of hurts on my foot. It was like, whew. So, yeah, watch out for the tip if you have a slift tee. Oh, my God. Um, but, yeah, I'm not going to gush about this thing anymore. I'm not going to hold you guys anymore. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for the support. Thank you all for everything. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. I think I covered everything. My thoughts have been kind of scrambled because I've been so excited. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Later.